26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 31 items. So I went from, wow, I've pretty much condensed like down to half. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kother. Welcome. It's so nice to meet you. I'm doing a closet declutter today and I got really inspired after decluttering Nazine's toys and recently she has been able to get out of her crib and now I'm in the process of taking it apart, selling it on Facebook market and eventually giving it to someone else. But I definitely have a different style when it comes to my closet and I am a minimalist and I'm very new to it I would say I've started over the last few years I used to have hundreds of clothes I used to have hundreds of hijabs and I feel like I am at a good place but I think I could do a little bit more decluttering but yeah I'm gonna show you guys what my closet looks like I have not touched it it's pretty much been the same for about a year and I'm excited to kind of go through it with you guys and it's been really nice to like minimize and simplify my life so yeah anyways here's my closet so I have all the clothes hung up here and then I have some up here. So I have pants, like shirts, sweats, and then socks, underwear, bras, stuff like that. I also have a hijab rack. I do not have a dresser. This is literally all of my clothes. I used to have hundreds of hijabs and now I have gone down to like nine, which is really cool. I'm gonna do a quick count and come back. Okay, so I have a little over 60 pieces. The count is not included, underwear, bra, and like socks this is just clothing but yeah the first thing that i'm gonna do is just kind of go through all the clothes the ones that no longer fit me um clothes that i have not worn in a really long time or even clothes that are just really uncomfortable and don't make me feel my best self i also wear a lot of color i feel like as a minimalist i have realized over the last few years that i do like a pop of color and i tried experimenting last summer with it and it's been I really enjoy it. So there is some color in here too. It's not just black and white and neutral colors. So yeah, just heads up. Um, so I'm gonna start with this side. So over here, I have this piece that my parents bought me from um, their trip in Turkey. It's like a three piece um, set. I have not worn it since they got it for me. So I think I'm just gonna put that aside. Um, just, I don't know. I'm not, not wearing it. Um, this dress, it is one of my favorite dresses. I got it over the summer. I have a few dresses actually. So I have that one. I have this one. Uh, this is like an underslip. So I have that one, this one. I have this dress. I do have a lot of dresses. I've been definitely in my feminine energy. I'm wearing one right now. And I just love it because it keeps me, you know, cool during the hot seasons. Oh, and then my sister got this from a thrift store. It's a vintage piece and she gave it to me. I love it so much. I've actually worn it and I love it. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. But yeah, these are all my dresses. I don't think I have any more. I have like formal dresses too. So like this one's like very formal. It's red and then I have this one which is black. I definitely wear this often. I feel like I don't really wear this one as much usually just on occasion so I'm gonna put that in the maybe section uh, I definitely love wearing this one I do love this dress too but to be honest I've only worn it once so I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile too this one I wore for Nadine's uh, first birthday and honestly I love it for the beach and stuff but I just I don't know I don't feel like my best in it I definitely love this dress I've worn it a few times me feel so confident and I love this dress too so um, I think I'm just gonna hang up the ones that I'm going to keep for now I'm just gonna put them on this side here um here's like a workout piece that I used to wear when I used to go to the gym and to be honest like I don't remember the last time I went to the gym and I don't know if I'll really use this for like walking I don't know and I don't like this material I got it from like Old Navy and I it just makes me hot let it go this white top could probably wear this for like a brunch um like a more formal gathering i have worn this many times so i'm gonna keep that 
This is also another piece that I absolutely love. Um, so I have a few things here and I'll share in a sec, but it's like this long, I don't know, just like the material. It's linen and I just feel like it keeps me really cool during the so summer hot days. I got these pants from Target. They're just like white pants. They're super thin and comfortable. I love it. And then just like a white tank top underneath. Um, I do like the ones that button up at the bottom so they don't like come out of the pants. So I definitely wear this often. So I'm gonna keep this a set. And I do mix and match. So sometimes I'll wear these pants and shirt with like something else. This one I do wear often, but it's mainly like a winter piece. I feel like sometimes in the evenings in Sacramento, it gets kind of chilly. So I think it'd be cool to keep this, but I definitely wear this, so I love it a lot. I got this one from Detroit. It's one of my favorite sweaters. I wear it all the time, so I'm gonna keep it. Um, these pants, I bought it for like work if I wanted to wear like a long top, but to be honest, I have not worn this really. So we're gonna get rid of it. This turtleneck, I really love. I actually have a black one and I really love them. They like button up at the bottom and I could just, you know, wear jeans and wear like a cardigan over it. It is not as cold now cause it's starting to get warm, but I'm still gonna keep it because I do use it a lot during the winter time. I might actually fold them up and put them in my like, little small luggage. And this piece is similar to that one, but to be honest, it's not as modest. Like you see the chest, it's like pretty open. I got this from Target, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then this pants, they're like a velvet material and I do wear it often, so I'm gonna keep that. This is one of my favorite sets. Um, it's just like sweatpants and a sweater. I really love it too, I wear it a lot. This cardigan, I do wear a lot as well. I have some jeans. I just have one pair of jeans. Um, I love them so much. And then I recently got this for AIDS and I really love it. It's pretty, I feel like a little formal, but you can also dress it down. I really like it. I feel like it'd be a good spring, summer fit. And then here are some hijabs. I honestly wear these ones a lot. To be honest, I love every shade. I think I'm gonna keep them all. So I do wear them often. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I have nine. So just nine hijabs. That's all I have. I used to have like hundreds, like drawers of just lots of hijabs. And then I have this top that I love wearing with the pieces that I use for this one. So like the white. So I just kind of mix and match with a lot of the ones that are like this um, with pants and they're pretty long too. They're pretty modest. I really like them. Um, this is one of my robes. I actually do like hanging this in the bathroom. So I'm gonna take that and put that over in the bathroom. This top, I've worn, oh, I feel like I've overworn this and I feel like I just don't care to wear it and I feel like it's just starting to get old, you know? It's like a nice sweater, but I, I'm just not wearing it as much, so I'm gonna get rid of that. <clears throat> this is a set that I got and I really like it. I wear it often, so I'm gonna keep that. It's just like a nice at home lounge outfit. This piece I've had for a while and I have not worn it. I thought it was super sexy. And I was like, I can wear something underneath. Oh, look, I even have this underneath that I haven't worn in a really long time. It's like a crop top, long sleeves, but I have not, I have not been wearing it. So we're gonna get rid of it. I have lots of sweaters. One thing about me, I am a minimalist, but I do own a lot of sweaters and these are from San Jose State. So like, it's just a lot of pride in them. So I'm keeping it. And I have this blue coat, which is more formal. And honestly, it's a little tight on me. I did wear this before my pregnancy, pre-pregnancy body, and I just don't feel comfortable wearing it. It just makes me really uncomfortable because it's like super tight. And then I ha also have this like rain jacket, which I really love, but I think I'm gonna take this downstairs to the closet where I have just like my shoes and stuff like that. Um, so that it's all like in one area whenever I need it. So I'm gonna take that downstairs as well. I feel like now that I feel pretty good about how much clothes I have, what I'm gonna do is I am going to take all of my winter stuff and put them in the luggage because right now we are almost like hitting summer. It's been really hot. So I'm just going to take all of the thicker clothes 
and just kind of have I'm gonna put these on my bed and I'm gonna I'm gonna put them pretty much in like a luggage and then bring it out whenever um, I think I'm gonna keep the sweater and this cardigan I'll just bring them out when it gets cold so yeah pretty much decluttered a lot of that and then obviously I need to go through these pants this one's like super thick so I'm gonna put that on my bed so I can put it in the luggage these pants I got them for the gym and I'm just not feeling it anymore i don't really go to the gym these are like my workout walking pants which they're really comfortable these sweats i love them but they do did have like a hole on it so i'm gonna get rid of that these are leggings which i do want to keep this is under piece that i don't really wear because now i'm a huge fan of skims i'm currently wearing one of her bodysuits underneath this and i just love how it feels um just makes me feel more confident this is a maturity pants <laughs> I need to stop like I can't be wearing those and then these are sweatpants, which I really love so I'm gonna keep that some leggings three pieces in here Not bad and then in here got shirts definitely gonna keep this This is a turtleneck that I haven't worn in a long time. So I'm gonna toss that I do love this piece. It's like a nice shirt. I do like this shirt too I have a few like Starbucks shirts that I love wearing especially when I'm like cooking and stuff and then my good enough shirt too. So we're gonna keep all of this. I don't know, with a toddler, I feel like I tend to, I don't even know why there's a socks in here, but I tend to just like get my tops dirty faster cause she'll touch me and stuff, which is fine. So I just love having a little extra and then just gonna put my tank top in here. Obviously I'm gonna organize this better later, but that is done. And then I have my bras and underwears and socks on the other side. I'm gonna do that off camera and then I will come back. Um, I just don't wanna like share that online. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I organized the bras, underwears, and socks. So I have them in three different sections. So now I'm gonna do another count and see how much I have left. I'm excited to count these now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 31 items. So I went from, wow, I've pretty much condensed like down to half. Yeah, I feel, I feel good. I feel like feels good to declutter and it really doesn't take a lot of time especially if you do it often I think that it can come really easily to you so yeah I'm gonna head to the Goodwill and drop off all this stuff I'm also gonna break apart Nadine's crib I hope that this inspires you to also go through your clothes and figure out what you need and getting rid of things you don't really wear and also limiting what you're buying that's something that I'm trying to do this summer just doing like a no buy summer when it comes to clothes for Nadine, it's a little different because she grows often. So I usually have like a certain amount of hangers that I use for her too. And during the summer, I just buy a lot of dresses and then I kind of go through her clothes every few months. Like I would say every three months because she outgrows them and then I go thrifting. It's kind of like this cycle for her. So hers is done way more often than mine. But yeah, anyways, I hope that this inspires you to declutter as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.